Hey there internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you a playthrough of Star Realms by White Wizard Games. So let's take it to the table for a game of Star Realms. And here is the table all set up for a two player game. So on the left here we have Rogue and she has three cards as the first player and then we have her 50 authority here, mine is over on the right here. And I have five cards because I'm second player. So Rogue's first turn and she has two scouts and one viper. So with the viper she'll do me one authority damage and with the two scouts she will buy the trade bot and then we refill and there's nothing she can afford. So we simply clear up her cards that she's played and any left in her hand, and then she will draw five new cards. And so it's over to me and I have, let's see, uh, we've got two scouts, two vipers, another scout. So two vipers will do two damage. So I'll just take that off first. And then I've got free buy, so I'll buy this supply bot here. And then clear up and deal new hand. So we're up to Rogue once more. And she'll do me one damage, and then she has four buying power. So she's going to buy the survey ship. And then what do we get out? Nothing she can afford. So she clears up and then we'll deal herself five new cards. Now she only has two left in her deck. So she has to shuffle her discards all up and then she will deal three cards from the new deck formed from her discards. And it's over to me once again, and I have, ooh, five scouts. So that's quite a lot of buying power. So I'm gonna pick up this freighter for four, and then what do we get out? Uh, nothing I can afford, so I'll clear up and shuffle these up to, to draw new cards. So Rogue then has, uh, so two Vipers, three scouts, so it's two damage to me. And then with free buy, there's nothing that costs free, everything's five or more. So she'll buy an explorer, which are always available and cost two. And then of course she'll clear up and draw a new hand. And that leaves me with, ooh, five scouts again. So I think this time I'm gonna go for the mech world. And then Rogue has, oh, now that Rogue's got five scouts. So she's going to buy this defense center here. And then she'll clear up and draw her cards and it's background to me. So what do I have? So Viper, two scouts, Freighter and another scout. Okay, so the Viper will do one damage, and then I've got seven buying power. So, uh, I don't get the ability for the Freighter because I don't have any other blue cards. So I think with the seven buying power I've got, I'll buy this missile mech. And then what else do we get out? Anything I can afford? No, so I'll just clear up. And then it's Rogue's Go once more. And she has, let's see, so we've got Viper, Scout. Uh, we've got the Defense Center, so we'll start with playing that, which means I won't be able to attack her directly anymore because this is an outpost. It means I have to attack that first. That'll be defending her, press, her authority there. And then let's see, so... Um, So 
Survey ship means that she can draw another card. So she'll do that first. And she gets another scout. So she's then going to use the trade bot here to scrap a card from her hand. And she's going to scrap one of these scouts. Important here to note that it says may. She doesn't have to do this. It's, it is a choice. So she'll get rid of this scout here. So she has one damage, so she'll uh, hit me for one authority. She also has the defense center, so she'll be doing free authority off me. And then she has free buying power, so she will buy the embassy yacht here. And then I have Viper, Viper, Scout, and a Supply Bot, and my Missile Mech. So I'm going to use the Supply Bot here to scrap. Um, I'll scrap this Scout, yeah. And then I can use the missile mech. Uh, it allows me to destroy a base, so I'll destroy her defense center. And when a base is destroyed, that'll then go into that player's discard pile. Uh, oh, I get to draw a card because uh, we've got the synchronization going on. So let's see, what do I get? Oh, um, another scout. Okay, well that means I've got free buying power and I've got 10 attacks. So I'll hit her for 10 damage. And then with my free buy... Oh, I forgot to refill. Uh, so what's this? Oh, I've got a trade pod. Um, I think I'll buy this trade pod here to start. And then let's see what comes out. Okay, I can't afford that, so I'll go for this trade bot as well, which costs one. Okay, and clearing up and drawing new cards. So, Rogue once more, and let's see, we've got Scout, 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 Viper, and then an Explorer. So, that means she's got five buying power, so what does she want to buy? Well, I think she's going to start by buying this uh, blob destroyer here. And then that's it, because there's nothing else she can afford. But she is going to scrap the explorer to gain an extra two attacks, so she'll be doing me free authority. And then clears up, and it's back over to me. So I've got a scout, a scout, a scout, another scout, and then my uh, freighter so that's eight buying power so i think i'll pick up blob world here yeah that'll be good and then we get out a new one and a clear up and rogues go and what does rogue have let's see we've got five scouts so she will buy, I think, buy the battle station to start off with, give a bit of defence. And then yeah, the cutter here. That'll do nice. Okay, so she can clear up. And then it's back over to me. And let's see, so we've got a supply bot. Uh, so I'll scrap a... Uh, scout from my hand and then play my mech world so this counts as a ally or same faction as every other card so it will trigger the synchronization ability things so even if this wasn't machine world it would still work obviously it is machine world though so and then we've got two scouts so we've got four by and two attacks. So I'll do the two attack first. And then with the four buy, I'll pick up this trading post here. 
and what do we get? And that's it. And then Rogue has her defense center, so she'll play that. And we've got Scout, Viper, Embassy, Yacht. And this does have an ability that would trigger if she had two bases, but she's only got the one, so it's not going to trigger. And then she also has the Blob Destroyer, which has a synchronization ability, but she hasn't played any of the green Blob faction cards other than this, so she doesn't get that. But her Embassy Yacht will be giving her free authority, so she can take that. And then she's getting two attack from her defense center and six from the destroyer. So she's got nine attack. So she'll destroy the mech world with six and then does free to me. And she has free buy, so she'll buy the Imperial Frigate. Oh, and mustn't forget to put a card out. And then she'll clear up. So I then have, I'll play my Blob World. And then a Trade Bot and I'll scrap a Scout from my discards and then we've got missile mech so I'll destroy her defense center again and I've got two machine factions so I get to draw a card here and it's a scout and I have a viper and a freighter so six eight nine fourteen attack so i'll take fourteen off of her and then i've got six by so i'll buy this battle blob and clear up And what do we get out? Another world. And then Rogue has Trade Bot, so she'll scrap her Scout. And then she's got Supply Ship, so she draws a card. And we've got a Viper, Blob Destroyer, and Embassy Yacht, so she's not got any faction things trigger, but she will gain three more authority. So she gets six attack for this, then one, and she doesn't get the two for that. So just seven attack. So that's just enough to destroy my blob world. So she's going to do that. And she's left with four buying power. So she'll buy a space station. And clearing up. Oh, and card. And then draw hand. Okay, and then I have, let's see, so we've got three scouts, a viper, and a trade pod. So, trade pod, I don't get the sync ability, unfortunately, so I've only got one attack. Um, and I've got six buy, so we'll do the attack damage first. And then with the six buy, I will get the junkyard here. And then clearing up, and oh, new card. And then Rogue has three scouts, a Viper, and an Imperial Frigate. So I have to discard a card here. So I'm going to discard a Viper. And then she has five attacks, so I lose five authority. She has three buy, so she's going to start buying this Imperial Fighter. And then she'll buy an Explorer. And 
I have a supply bot, so I'll scrap a Viper from my discards, then play a Viper, and I've got a Scout and a Freighter. So I do one damage to her, and then I've got seven by, so I'll pick up the Mothership. Mmm, tasty. And then draw up, and Rogue will play her battle station, give her a bit of defense out. And let's see, we've got a scout, uh, two more scouts, and a cutter. So she'll gain four authority for her cutter, and then she has five by. So she'll pick up this trade escort here. And then I have my mech world out again. And I'm going to play a trade bot. And I'm going to scrap a scout from my discards. And then what do I have? I'm going to play trade pod. And then two scouts. So I have got the tax there. So I've got four attack. But she's got the battle station, which needs five to destroy it. And it's an outpost, so I have to destroy it before I can attack her. So the attack does nothing. But I still do have six by, so I'll pick up the flagship here. And Rogue has three scouts. Her Imperial Frigate, so I have to discard a card. So I'll discard a... Scout and trade escorts giving her four authority, so she'll gain that immediately. And then she has nine attacks, so she'll destroy my mech world and do me free damage. And then she'll buy a trade bot. Oh, and this battle pod as well. She'll take that. Okay. Me, and I'm going to play this trading post and my blob world. Then this uh, battle blob here, which allows me to draw a card because I have another green card out. And it's a scout. And I've got my missile mech, which will destroy her battle station. And I'm going to use the trading post to get one authority. Then I'm getting five attack for Blob World, another eight for Battle Blob, and then another six for Missile Mech. So I'm doing 19 authority off of Rogue. And then clear up and draw new cards. And then Rogue plays her Imperial Fighter, so I have to discard a card. And I'll discard a Scout. And then she plays three Scouts and an Explorer. So she's got five buy, so she will buy this, this Patrol Mech. And then she will scrap the Explorer to get two more attack. So that puts her on four attack, which is enough to destroy the trading post. And then she'll clear away, draw a new hand. And then what do I have? I've got supply box, so I'll scrap a scout. Followed by junkyard. And then I've got flagship, which allows me to draw a card. And it's Mechworld, so I'll put that straight out. If I can find space. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. And so Flagship gives me five authority. And then I'm going to play the Mothership, which because I've already played a green means I get to draw two cards. And I'm going to scrap one of the scouts I just drew using Junkyard and then play the other one. So I've got free buy. I'm not going to bother buying anything. 
And then my attack is 19, which is more than the 11 authority that Rogue has left. So she's dead and I've won the game. And that is Star Realms. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family, as well as checking us out on social media. You can find us on Twitter or on Facebook. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.